Hey Devin, this is Michael at NWA 3D and we can go over the setup for the Rostock Max V2 and so I am going to do just a little bit of background research on the Rostock to make sure I have all the sizes and everything right and what we're going to do first is kind of the basic setup. So if we click here in the top right hand corner and click add printer then it will allow us to create a custom printer or otherwise. So in other it is possible that they may have it. Um, I haven't, I didn't see it last time. So it doesn't look like it, it doesn't look like there's any row stock, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose custom and make a custom FDM printer. And we can rename it the row stock max V2, click add printer. Then it's going to pull up the machine settings, which is the stuff I need to research real fast. So if I type in row stack max V2, dimensions, And then we should be able to see all of the dimensions of the overall height and the basic size of it. So let's see here. That looks correct. So it says it's about a 15 inch height and a 10 and a half diameter. So if we go ahead and apply that to millimeters, because we're going to want millimeters inside of Kira. So 10.5 times 25.4. So we can write it to 260, should be a safe number for our maximum for XY. So just to be safe, instead of being at 260, we can do 250 and then 250 on Y. And then on the height, we need to calculate the height, and it said it could be right around 15 inches. So if we go 15 times 25.4, and we can set it at, let's just go ahead and do 360 to be safe. Okay. Now we want to make sure the build plate is elliptical. And this should apply the correct values for it, so it should be the right height and everything. We're going to put origin at center and a heated bed, because those are both true of the row stock. It would load for us. Okay, so now both of those are selected, but it seems good. So our G code flavor is going to be Marlin, so make sure that's chosen. We can leave most of these values at the same. Here we're going to change the material diameter to 1.75 because that's the type of filament we're using. So your nozzle size should be 0 0.4 unless you've changed the nozzle itself, and we can go ahead and click finish. And now our row stock is prepared. Okay, so this is our entire build volume, it's a cylindrical object, and the middle is considered our origin point, which is correct. So at this point, you can kind of mess with the materials, so we can select PLA to get closer values, and then we're going to have our simple profiles. In this case, your profiles, I'm sure you know how to edit them and how you want to set them up. Um, something we typically change is the printing temperature to at least 220 degrees. Um, the build plate, you can leave it at 50. We prefer about 50 degrees Celsius, tends to be a little bit better. Uh, 60 degrees is usually a little bit hot, especially for the same um, 12 volt power supply you're using. Um, so we recommend 50 or 55 degrees Celsius. Now, these settings are general for whatever you would like to choose. Um, sp speed, I would consider dropping this down to at least 50 millimeters per second and dropping the initial layer speed to 15 to ensure that you have a good first layer. Um, in this case, if you don't see initial layer speed, if you click on the cog, that should be right here, and it'll pull up setting visibility and allow you to choose it down here at the bottom. And then you can close and change the value. Travel speed, you can decrease it if you would like to. It shouldn't be a big issue. Make sure you do have print cooling enabled because I know you have a second fan on there and that will help your prints look better. And then you can decide if you want support or a platform adhesion type yourself. So that should be all the information that's really required for you to set up your row stock and make sure everything's working correctly. And then you can go ahead and load a file in and see if it will print successfully. So in that case, all you would have to do is export it you know, or plug in your printer to this Cura. And you should be able to just click print here and it should automatically connect through the COM ports on your computer. So you can go ahead and try that if you would like to. 
or if the SD card is working now, then you can go ahead and try the SD card as well. So that would just be save to file and then save it to the SD card and then plug it in the printer and print from it. Um, I prefer to save the profile. So if you want to, if you click on the star here, you should be able to click create and then you can name it the row stock max v2 paste settings. And this is gonna ensure that all of our settings for it are going to be the original kind of things that we wanna use and it should apply all the values we changed. So I can go ahead and close out of that and we should be good to go. So you can go ahead and put your file inside, make sure that the layers look correct within layer view mode, and then you should be good to print. If you have any more questions, let me know. And I appreciate your time, Devin.